Hello there folks, uh, this is your friend and host Normandy Junction welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic a Minecraft tutorial on a scale of 4 to 1 on this grand luxurious liner and today's episode we're going to do something a bit special today we're actually going to do a very special room uh, considering the previous video, I was just doing the shafts, I think it might be a little bit boring doing another one, but we will have to do that, we'll have to come back to that eventually, but we're going to do something a little bit special. But like I say, starting in again as normal, but I just want to say a big thank you to all my current subscribers and my new ones who are joining the channel as well. And today's episode, I'm going to be doing the first class dining room, that's right, the first class dining room, uh, very special room, uh, very elegant, very stylish, and... Um, pretty easy to build because it's a very symmetrical room now what I've done like I say I've pretty much been doing the port side and using the starboard side for filming purposes but I completed the entire room so this is what you need to do the actual room itself is located on D deck and it's in the midships of the ship dead in the center here between frames one stern and one of the bow oh excuse me and the size of the room is if you go towards the bow it's going up to frame number 20 which I've marked here for you and if you're going towards the stern I'll just fly over here now this is frame well that frame is I forgot to mark it actually so that's frame 15 and this is frame number 19 so it's 19 on the stern and the bow is bow number 20 okay and what you need to do is to say if you want to get started first i mean if you already completed both sides i mean you've got a good head start then but if you need to build the other side uh just fill in the other side uh do the floor uh do all your smooth quartz slabs between the frames uh use quartz uh block of quartz for the actual frames themselves instead of smooth stone and replace the other side with the other smooth zone with quartz slabs as well you need to do the roof which which is entirely the same as the bottom okay and also towards the side of the ship you need to the frames are, are the quartz blocks for the frames are absolutely fine but you need to replace this gray concrete with white concrete so like i say if you want to make a start on that but like I say, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who have joined the channel and any potential ones that as well. Thank you very much. And like I say, we're going over a thousand subscribers. I thought I better do something special while well, I've been doing them another shaft, really. <laughs> but we will need to come back to that. But like I say, I thought, you know what? Let's do the dining room, first class dining room. So let's get started. But like I say, how I'm going to build this, like I said, this room is exactly the same design on the other side. So I'm just going to design half of it. And what you need to do is just do a mirror copy. But like I say, I'll do each bit at a time. I'll start at the stern, working my way towards the bow section. Okay? So, I'm going to head over to the port side, left-hand side of the ship. That's the, that's the bow there. And that's the stern there. Okay? I'm going to come to frame number 19. Come right across. Okay? I might start in the centre, actually. So, if you're going off the centre of the ship, the, the actual, you know, the middle of the keel, you need to go to 15 blocks towards left. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It actually comes to here. If you put a grey concrete block right here, okay? And then what you need to do now is go out 2 to the left, okay? And then leave a gap of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put a grey concrete block down and just basically do a whole line towards the frame there basically this is a doorway and behind here is the ship's gallery now if you're not familiar with naval terms the ship's gallery is actually just the kitchen where they prepared the food okay and now behind the gallery as well as the second class dining room as well and i think a couple of decks below it is the third class dining room so most of the dining rooms were located in the center of the ship so like i say i'll do the same for the other side as well but i'll say i'll do this one side first okay so like i say return to this block here next to the funnel okay you need to go basically forward um 38 blocks that's one already so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight okay I need to double check my notes, guys, because obviously I'm prone to making mistakes in these tutorials. Okay, so we're going to be in between deck frames 10 and 9. So, yep, that is correct. So, what we need to do now is just put one block there 
and then basically join it up towards the centre. There we go. I'll put a different like block there, you know, to make sure it's the centre of the ship. Uh, but I'm not going to my inventory, I mean, so I'll just leave it as it is. <laughs> so yeah, basically what this section is here is actually another fan and trunk. Uh, basically a venture I've gone up as exactly we did in the other videos for the third funnel. But coming back to that later. So we'll do a doorway now. And what we need, we need to go to the wood section and get oak wood. I'll just put it, uh, where should I put it? I'll put it on there for now, okay. Now aim for the block there, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and fill it in. And then in the middle two, put, you're going up. Now, I normally have said my door's about seven blocks high and three blocks width. Now this is a double door, but obviously these doors were a little higher, so we're actually gonna go up by eight. So starting at the bottom here, so that's one, two, three, okay, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do the same on the other side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we just drag them across. And you just join up the centre here. There we go. Now, obviously, to make this a bit more efficient, so where these gaps here in the middle, leave a block, block of one, or well, a gap of one, I apologise, I said that wrong there, and another one. I put one block there. And one block there, so you should have a gap of three. So that's one, two, three. Now to fill them in, what you need to do is get your fences. Like I say, this uh, mod pack, the steampunk, it is really, really good. Um, basically for iron bars, really, and fill in the centre. I mean, you could design it yourselves. So I say, if you want to leave a door open, but like I say, I'm going to keep them shut. And to add a bit of a door handle effect, I get the fence gates. I use birch. And I put one there and one there, and then I open them. So it gives that little effect there. Okay. I might put a little like picture of this to see what to show what I'm exactly designing. But there you go. That's the actual doors to the actual gallery. Okay. Now what you need to do next is get your blocks of quartz. Okay. Now going back onto frame number 19, this one here, put a block of quartz there and basically drag it to the top. There you go. And then after that, you need to have. One second, let me just check my notes, guys. All right, one quartz block here. Now you're going towards the out outways there, okay? Now leave a gap of five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And put it on the sixth block. So you should have a five there. And do the same again. One, two, three, four, five. Block there. And then again. One, two, three, four, five. And there. And then do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And you should be left with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which we do. Now, these lines of quartz, drag them to the top of the frame. As so. There we go. And I will be doing the portal holes as well, guys, for the windows. So we're actually going to have, I think these are the official first portals for the actual main frame as well. And I'll light them up for you as well. So. I might do a shot at the end where well, it's dark. So there you go. That's how it should look. Okay. Now what we need to do now is I'll just check my notes, guys. Okay. Right. Yes. You need to get. You need. We're going to fill this in with white concrete. So I'll basically just fill it all in. There you go. Right to the top. There you go, that's that done. Actually, at the top line, guys, do a grey concrete line. I'll tell you why in a minute. So towards the grey, grey concrete. Put it all the way across. The reason I'm going to tell you that is actually we are going to design a roof for it as well. So, like I say, it's going to be a long episode again, guys. So, like I say, just bear with me. Hopefully this is entertainment for you. There you go. go so I'm just gonna rephrase everything again just one more time so going for this block you should have gap of eight one two three four five six seven eight then a then a quartz then a gap of five quartz gap of five quartz gap of five quartz gap of five quartz and that leaves a gap of six all right so let's get it filled all in there we go Oh. 
Like I say, if you've got any questions for me, just don't be afraid to ask them in the comments. And like I say, um, if you want to use this as a downloadable project, go right ahead. Not a problem. Just pop my name on it to say where you got it cre credited from. Okay? And, you know, that's fine. I've actually seen a few YouTube channels who are building it. And it's amazing to see. Keep going, guys. You're all great. Right. So, that should now be completed. Right. Oh, we've got to do this bit of section as well. So let's completely fill this in just quickly. Right. There we go. And a grey concrete as well. There we go. Right. So just let me check my notes now, guys. So the root, the, the wall should look like just like this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly do a jump cut. And I'm going to complete the other side. Right, folks. So like I said, I've done both of the back walls now. And with the doorways as well. So we're going to have some more detail here for the back wall. Okay. So what you need is pillar quartz blocks. Now on each of these lines of quartz here, put one block here, block there, one there, and one there, one there, and I don't think there is one in the corner here just yet. So we'll just go up to that way for now. So there should be five blocks in total. And all you need to do is drag them right to the top. Okay? All the way there. Until you come to the grey concrete line. Okay? And when you get to the grey concrete line, all you need to do is another, just another block like that. In fact, what you can do, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So it should look like this. Uh, get your pillar quartz again. Just drag it all the way up to the top. There you go. Just like that. Same again. Uh, make sure you get it straight going upwards. Because sometimes they can go to the side. There you go. You aim for the bottom and drag it up. Best way to do it. Okay. So the next bit is just get smooth quartz stairs. And put one at the end of each bottom one there. Okay. So there should be five there now. And the next stage is you leave a gap of one. In fact, I'll do it on this frame here. Gap of one. Put another quartz steps, but it has to be downward like that. And then one above it. So it looks like this. So it's one there, then a gap. One looking up, upside down and one just on top. So I'll do that again. So it's one. Ooh. There you go. This one here. This one here, and this one here. In fact, what you can do as well, folks, if you need to find yourself, just do the give like button. You can put on each gap as well, where you can find space. It's good for filming as well. Okay. So on the next stage, okay, after you completed that, you need. Um, I think what we'll do is the ventilation. There was, there was actually small vents at the bottom of the uh, the dining room. So if you get your black concrete, okay, uh, where shall I replace this with? Uh, gonna need all these, don't I? <laughs> I'll just do the iron bars. I'll get, I'll get it back in a bit. Right, starting at the iron bar, each each frame here, these basically these five here. Replace the grey concrete. One there, one there, and one there. One there, one there, and one there. One there, one there, and 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 then the sixth one, you just need to do three. So it looks like that. Okay? Now what you need to do next is get your iron bars again with the black concrete and take out the grey one and just put a fence in it. So that's the kind of way of a like a ventilation system. You know, because when it blows hot air and cold air or you know basically keep the room warm so it's, I mean it's, it's that's the basic I can get it really and once again go back to your smooth quartz there's now about here like I say mirror image of this just go straight across like that there you go we'll, we'll take it about up to here so far to I organize this corner there we go and do one on top of it as well Go. so it should look like that okay so this is sort of, sort of pattern I can try and figure it out really uh, but let me just check my notes now for the next stage for this side Bear with me folks so I say it's not easy to do when you're running on your own notes 
constantly checking. Right, yes. Okay, so next stage is we're going to be doing a support beam. Right. So, on the third one, basically where the door is, okay, where well this doorway here is here, go to the third one on the right. One, two, three. Okay? Now, after that, you need to go up to where the quartz bar is, okay? Get your pillar quartz and make sure it's sideways like that. Now, this support beam, I want to make sure this is the right height as well, folks. I'm, I am sorry about this. Give me one second. Okay, right. I do apologise, folks. Okay. Now, I'm going to start again. Right, so where well, this block is here, one, two, three, four, five. Five up. Okay? Because this one here is where we're going to put the new roof. Like that. But this column here, I want you to extend it all the way to the end of the room. So if I just drag it now, put it right across. Trust me, there is a method to my madness. There you go. Because this is the entire length of this room. How far are we to go? Not far. There we go. We can just do one more. There we go. Yep, that's level. Block of quartz there. Okay, so that's up to the bow. Bow 20. So that's the full length of the room. Right, so like I say, I've got myself a little confused there, guys. I do apologise for that. Right, so the next bit now... So it did, it did take a long time for me to uh, design this. Because like I said, I just want to make sure I get it right for you guys. Right, you need uh, a chiselled quartz block. So I'm going to put that in my inventory. Which is already there. Okay. And when the block of quartz is, just remove the white concrete of each frame. And go right across like that. We're just going to basically give the room a bit of elegance. And the top of the doorway as well. All the way up to the course itself. There we go. Okay. Is that one done? There we go. So it should look like that. Okay, because there were like like little bays where all the tables were as well. Okay, so yes, so that's that bit done. So like I said, that pillar of quartz, as I say, it's the third one from the from the left here. So that's one, two, three. You go up by five from this staircase. That's one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, basically where the chisel block is, put a quartz block. That'll do, just replace these as well. There we go. So that's that done. Okay. And that is now done for that that actual wall. But the next thing we need to do is get your smooth quartz stairs again. And where the grey concrete is, just start from this corner, put them downwards like this. Okay. And it goes the full length all the way to the corner. In fact, we'll just put it on top of the grey concrete. That's why I asked you to put the grey concrete on. So it should look like this. Okay, because what we're actually going to do is I'll give you a little demo here. This this the actual new roof. You get your smooth quartz and we'll put it just underneath the frame like this. Okay? So it'll look like that. But there will be a pattern as well. So like I say it's gonna be a long video guys. So okay, so what I'm gonna do now, do another jump cut. I will complete the other side of the back wall and we'll fill in this section here in the middle. Be right back. Right, back again. So, like I say, I've completely co co copied the other side. Like I say, it should look like this. So that's the, that's the starboard side, and we're coming back again to the port. So we're going to fill the inside casing here, here, around the funnel frame and the vent shaft. And going from this corner here now, you just basically get your white concrete and go the whole length of the grey. And basically, we need to fill it all in. So this is a little bit of a dull period here, guys. So just bear with me while I fill these lines in. 
Okay, so there you go. Fill it all the way in. So I say that's from a frame. There we go. That's on the 19 from the stern all the way. So I say this line here is in between frames 9 and 10. Okay. And like I say, we need to fill this in as well towards the center. But I just want to concentrate on this wall here first. Right, so let me continue on here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Right, come on, come on, quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get this done. Right. Right, here we go. Right, so, like I say, when you go up to the chisel part block here, uh, just get your chisel line there. Oh, I keep dropping the control panel. There we go. Put a chisel line here. I'm going to put some more give light boxes so we can see a bit clearer, guys. There you go. And at the top there, last one, you just use grey concrete. Going all the way across so we're level and flush. Okay, but I'll fill in that bit in a second. So, we're going to use the frames here, guys, as reference points. Now, what you need to do is get your pillow quartz block again. Put one on each frame. Oh, that one. There we go. Okay, so it should be look like that. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and fill them right to the top, all the way. Except when you get to the chisel block line, stop there. Let's just double check my notes again, guys. Just give me one second. Actually, it's fine. Actually, yep. Just get a quartz block. There you go. In fact, what we'll do, we'll do, we'll put these on the frames as well, guys. Just give me one second. There we go. There you go. So it should look like that. So like I say, get your pillow quartz block and connect them right to the top. Okay. All right. So that's, there you go. So that's one, two, three, four. And that's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. So that's that done. All right, the next part is pretty easy one again. Get your chisel blocks again and just go over the top. There you go. Okay. So I'll go right across like that. Okay. And then you need your smooth quartz stairs again. And exactly the same as this side. Put one at the bottom on each frame. We go okay now leave a gap of one and put one that's upside down like this on each one like that and put one on top I don't know what happened there there you go so it should look like that but the next stage uh, we'll just do the vents again so like I say, start from this corner again. Remove the middle one. There you go. Until you get to the corner here. Okay? Then get your iron bars. Yeah, put it that one there. Yeah, iron bars. And put them in the middle. There you go. And replace the grey ones with black ones. But... For the purposes of speeding up, I'll just do, wait to the next jump cut. Okay, so it should look like that, guys. And once again, get your smooth quartz stairs. And like I say, from the third one from the bottom here, which is that one, make sure it's upside down and go right across between each frame. There we go. So it comes to basically going flush with the wall there where the door is. And return the return this top end. Well, going back the other way, where you came from, with smooth quartz steps that you just place the put on top. There you go. So it should look like that now. And the final part here is you need a slab. Okay, and in between each section, go for the middle below the chisel, put one here. There you go. Now the next bit is a little tricky to get to sometimes, but get go back to your smooth quartz steps. Okay, now, from this section here where the pillar is, go to the second block down, 
and point it inwards upside down like this and it's the same for the other side so it should look like that and all you need to do is aim to the top of it but looking towards the slab and again it should look like that so exam one there this took a few goals for me there you go done there you go this gives that nice pattern you see There, guys, if I want, I might do just do a couple there, go along each one. There we go. And aim for that one, aim for that one. Uh, oh, this is the tricky one. Ah, I'll have to get rid of some blocks here. That's how I did it. There you go, put it there. <laughs> there, it took a few goes. A white concrete, there you go. Back to the smooth quartz stairs, aim downwards. There you go. And there you go. And the next bit, get your smooth stairs again. Now on the top, where the grey concrete is, you just need to put another grey concrete line. If I move that staircase there, go on top of the quartz slab, so you get to the end. Get your smooth stairs and just go for it, because if you put one there, that should automatically join the corner. And just go all the way across. Like I say, don't worry about that little gap, because like I say, we're going to be putting a new roof on and you will not see it like this. You will not see it. Right, okay, so that's how it should look like, that side of the wall. So if you bear with me, I'm going to go do the other side with another jump cut. Right folks, so I've completed the other side of these two walls and I've filled in the centre as well. So what you need to do is fill it in with concrete. I put a grey line just to indicate the centre. Uh, basically put a chisel brick line in as well. So basically it goes all the way around. So we're going to put a little unit here which was located on this side. But what thing you need to do as well, get your smooth quartz stairs. Put one at the top like this going right across. And put it right across the room here. Okay, because obviously this is going to link up with the roof. So it should look like that. There you go. So that's one, two, and three. So it should look like that. Okay. And another thing you can do as well, guys, if you get your grey concrete, once again, and put it on top of the line of the um, pillar quartz. Okay. So it goes right away across. It's just to save a bit of time while, while we're doing it. Okay. Because you will understand when I tell you later. <laughs> Especially when we do the roof of the room. So I'll just go right across without banging my head. Okay, so once you've done the grey concrete, get your smooth quartz stairs and just take it all the way across on both sides. Okay, oh, like I say, if you don't aim it right, that's what happens. And trust me, I've done that quite a few times in this build. Right, okay, so like I say, you just go straight across, aim for the top. It is a bit difficult to do. go and that'll connect that stairs there and just do the other side as well but like I say I'll just carry on with the next bit okay and also you need to do that for the other side as well so we're going to do a bit of a unit here I think I don't know exactly what unit it was for I think it's having for cutlery napkins uh, plates else anything like that but what it is it's basically let me get my notes here now the you what I did to make this is I start off with a end stone brick wall okay and what I need I need to do is you need to go from this corner here, this one with the grey concrete, I'll just pull that back in. Then one second folks. You need to go in by at least two. So that's one, two. Okay. Yes, one, two. And then with the brick wall, you just basically pop it on the third one there. So I'll do the same for the other side. So that's one, two, one there. Okay? And you need to come two out 
so it's three in total. Same for the other side. Okay, and then you pull it right across. Like I say, with this mod pack, this skin pack, that's the, this is the best I can do really with this. Um, so I need to go up by at least another two. So that's one and two. There you go. Should, should look like that. So it's basically three blocks high. There you go. And the next stage, okay, is you need, I use the smooth sandstone slab. You put the slabs on top, put it right across. So this is the fourth block high, technically. There we go. Yep, so shoot like that, like that. Okay, so that's that's the middle block. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, so it's twelve each side, one in the middle, so that makes it twenty-five. Twenty-five blocks long. Okay, so what I use next, I use the oak wood. Remove the white concrete block on this corner here and that one there. I put two in like that, and basically you go all the way up to at least and get my numbers here one two three four and one two three four five six six box high so that's one two three four five six basic below the chisel okay you do the same for the other end remove the six blocks so it's one two three four five six okay now the inside you need to take out the row of concrete below the chisel same for the other side. Okay, and drag the wood all the way across on both sides. There you go. And what you need to do next is the row here, the first block we did, remove the bottom here. Just be careful of the slabs. Take out the stab one now as well. I know I've been lifting a little bit there. Okay, drag it across all the way. There we go. There we go. So it should look like that. There you go. Perfect. Now on this side, you just what you need to do next is in the middle, move the grey concrete as I use as a reference and sense for the ship, and just basically put wood in there like that, and remove all the white concrete. There we go. As you can see the inside of the funnel, third funnel, put that wood back in there, there we go. There we go, so that's that done. And what I need to do next now is basically fill in the interior with the endstone brick wall again. I mean, it's not perfect, I mean, you, you got to work what you got, and this is the best I can do. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's fill that in there. Make sure you aim it correctly at the top of the brick wall. Or the concrete underneath, I should have done that really. <laughs> there you go, so it should look like this. Now, once again, get your oak uh, wood. And on this side, it is from this corner here of the slab. Go two to the right and replace the third one. I put a block there. Same for the other side. Two across, replace that one there. And then what we need to do next is, I'll go back to this side just for reference. From the oak wood, go two to the right. Well, three to the right, this one here. Okay. And then you go to the front one, replace that one there. So it's basically three across, replace the front one. Okay. Now we take these all the way up to the chisel block height, like this. There you go. Should look, that look like that. There you go. And what you need to do next is you need brown concrete. Put that in my inventory. 
Okay. Now we're going to join them up. So basically what I mean by that is remove the steps. One, two, three. That one there. Okay. Put these in just in front of it. Back at two. And then a third one just on top there. So basically go back to this pillar. We join them up. Okay. And then on this one, remove the steps. That's one, two, three. So it's not three. What have I done? What have I done wrong? One, two, three. Oh, I went from the wrong side. <laughs> I knew I did something wrong there. There we go. Put steps back on. There you go. So it should look like that. And then you basically, what you do need to do next is. Uh, I can't remember what I did actually. Like I say, it's been a while since I've done this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Just to make it a bit more. I mean, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, but what you need to do next is get your core stairs, put them in front of the brown concrete like that. There we go. And when you get to the edge, put them in the front, make sure they're joined up. There you go, all there done. And on the inside, just want to make sure it's all correct. Yep, so that'll do. I mean, <laughs> like I say, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. So I just want to make sure there's no gaps. So we don't see the frame. Yes, there is a gap. So what you need to do next, folks, is get the slabs again. Uh, the smooth quartz slabs. Get rid of wood there. And where I thought, basically fill that section in the middle. There you go. So that's our cabinet. That's our unit. Like I say, it's still not happy with it but it is what it is whatever it's the stewards or the waitresses decide to use good luck to them okay so but like i say we're all good here for the room so on to the next section which is basically we are going to put some uh, posts in i'm going to just find where these were right okay so we'll start back on the port side again okay you need to find frame sfx that's stern frame six so and there's number seven, there's number six. So get your grey concrete. Come all back over here. Or whether whether it frame is, just put one block there. And you need to go out by 19. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, and you need to go on the 19th block, you need to go 12 either way so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so we're all flush we're all straight with the frame above us there that's great so continuing on down the down the passage up well, down the length of the ship going towards the bow now on the bow one you need frame number seven bow frame number seven that's nine that's eight oh go no nine eight seven there we go so like i say put a block here and you're going out by 19 so that's one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and you go out by twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and uh, same for the side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there we go so it should look like this like I say it was separated into bays so what I need to do now folks just to catch up I just need to do a quick jump cut refresh on my notes like I say just copy this to the other side and we'll be back in a moment right I'm back folks now I've got back up to speed with my notes I'm ready to move on so like I say I've completed both sides now okay this guy said the layout of the main room now what you need to do is we're actually going to do the portholes and the windows of this actually beautiful room so what you need to do we're going to come into the center first now I'll put some uh, number plates on here so make sure I don't get lost so we're in the middle so it says 1s 1 to the stern and 1b 1 towards the bow and I'll put them in different colors as well so red the red plaques are going to the stern and the blue ones are going to the bow okay so what we need to do now is like I said let me just get my bearings 
Right, so we'll start uh, We'll start on the left, going to the right. So you need to come between frames 5 and 4, okay? The stern. And starting at the bottom, go up by 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And now on the fifth block, which is this one, remove the 3 and go up 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so remove 3 across and 6 up. And remove the terracotta as well. So we now... Let's say, as I say, we see the Titanic there. <laughs> Take away that block, because that's one window down. Okay, so we move the next. We have to repeat the process for the next two frames. So if I just remove these three here and these three here. Okay, so that is in between frames four and three and three and two. So I say, yep, yeah, you need to rear reference. Start at the bottom. One, two, three, four, fifth one, and remove. Go. Oh, so like I say, I try not to uh, destroy the frames myself. Okay, so let's move all of them. There we go. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these. Okay, so that's them done. So that's the first three windows down. We'll just take away where the these windows need to, to, to be before we actually start putting them in. Okay, so between frames two and one of the stern, you leave full. But this one here, between actually the center of the ship, we remove. So let's get rid of those three. There we go. So three across, six up and down. Right, and then next one is this one next to it on the right. So that's between one and two of the bow frame. There we go. Oh, missed one out there. There we go. So, and then continue on. Between frames two and three of the bow, we leave. But between three and four, we remove. So, one, two, three. Okay. And then the next two along as well. So, you're going to get a set of three windows. And that should leave a, one single frame before the wall, which is correct here. Okay. So, that's one, two, three. There you go. And we'll move that one as well. And we just need to remove these two as well. So three across. There you go. And six up. There you go. There you go. So I have a zoom outwards. Oh, so I've got this one to do. I've done so I'll zoom outwards there so it should look like that very very in line and if we go outwards as well it should look like that so as you can see it's exactly the same as the Titanic over there okay so we're coming back inwards now this is how I design the windows the actual in themselves okay so if I come to this one I'll use this as the guinea pig the first one I need to do is we're actually going to start in the middle so you get your white stained glass blocks and all you do is put them on the white concrete itself. Okay? So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's all I was saying, four, so threes. So you fill in the entire window. Okay? And then what you need to do, if you want to give a bit of light, I just remove, and uh, let me see which one it is again, so bear with me. I just remove the middle two. And I put on the give light block like that, okay. And then you get your white stained white stained glass panel, and you put it on top of the blocks. But you only do it as this: one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Go again, and then again. You only go three across and five up, because on this glass one here, what you need to do is get your chisel block place it with there we go and put it across like this okay and what you need to do at the bottom is put it across across like that as well okay so like I say 
So we'll go back on the outside again. Three across, six up. We'll leave a gap up in the middle there for your light block. Okay. And then, on the inside, going off the bottom, do a three with the panels. And only go up by five. And the top row, which is hiding that block, put your chisel. Okay. So I'll do one more, one more for you. So I'll put that in there. And then get your glass. Fill it all in. Fill it all in. Fill it all in. Okay, on the inside. Get your chisel block. There we go. And then your panel block. Just realise I haven't done the uh, give light button there. So, like I say, move the middle two. And just raise your panels upwards to give the effect. Okay. And to finish it off as well, at the bottom. Uh, but in a second, I'm just make sure I've got this all right, folks. Yeah, I have. Because as I say, up here, this is where the uh, your stairs are going to be. In fact, we'll put them on now. Get your smooth quartz step. I'll just place up the chisel. Put it on the quartz block itself, and that the quartz block, and that one, and just join them up. <laughs> if you can do it right, I can't. There we go. Okay, so it should look like that. And to keep them with the quartz steps, you would just put one at the bottom of each frame and in the middle as well, where the chisel is. Just put a block there, there, and there, and going downwards as well. So you're getting the idea. So that's what it should look like. Okay, and obviously, to give it a bit more decoration, you need to get your pillar quartz, pillar quartz block again and replace all the quartz except for the one that is with the chisel there so you can do like say that one there you see that one there in fact you could do the inside as well there you go place those three okay and work your way across so you can get rid of the uh, signpost now. So that's how you do it. And on the outside, you need deep slate bricks. Oh, sorry, deep slate brick. Deep slate brick stairs. Okay, I'll start on here. Now put one in the corner and one in the other corner. All four corners. Okay. Now what you need to do, starting from the bottom, you need the third block up, which is one, two, three. Aim for the top to give that effect. Aim for the top to have that effect and pop one at the top, one at the top, and then what you need now is I mean, I mean if you can find a better block, if you get a better mod pack, skin pack, by all means, just get deep slate brick stairs, a slab, and put it two in the middle, one at the bottom, and one out right here. Okay, there you go, and it should look like that. And I'll see for decoration purposes as well. If you want to get your buttons, bear with me find mine uh, let's find it here we go okay I basically put three at the bottom one two three four five six one two three and one here one two three four five six there you go so that is how it should look like as you can see the best you can do with the color pack I suppose Shame we just don't have black stairs. Right, okay, so what you need to do as well with the ones that don't have a window, okay, this is just on frame uh, six stern. Like I said, that's a wall, so we just leave that all blank for now, okay, so don't touch that. But like I say, the ones that don't have a window, it's very simple. Just get your, I forget, hit the block again. Okay, get your chiseled. Go across and go across from the top. You can just do a grey concrete, I suppose, and put your steps on the top there. Okay? And to also to give the effect of a curve, an arch in the middle, we just need to put in one slab there. And then go for the second one down first from here. 
one down there, one down there, one like that, and one like that. There you go. And at the bottom, bear with me, folks. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot to add as well. Underneath, underneath each chisel one, with the smooth quartz there, so go along the bottom like this. Okay. There you go. So it should look like that. Now, obviously, one more thing we need to do. If I just quickly get my good friends the iron bars and a black kind of concrete block. We're going to do those vents again. Okay, so just remove the middle one, middle one, and the middle one. Put in your iron bar. And then get black concrete. Black concrete and black concrete black concrete black concrete now for an extra bit of more effect okay if you get your trap door like I said I've got these oak trap doors that give a nice gold effect you can just put them on like that it's a bit more style and obviously I'll put them on these ones all the way across around the room as well so like I say that is the exact style so I'll finish off here okay I will do a jump cut and I'll do both sides as well so i'll be back in just a moment right folks there you go i've completed both sides of the central parts of the dining room with the windows and the portholes as well and it's looking pretty good so we'll go towards the stern now the stern section of the room we're going to basically do from frame uh, 19 to the stern which is that one there all the way up to the wall here now the design is exactly the same with the windows and the frames that don't have windows I'm just going to show you where the windows are actually are so like I say we'll start with the chisel block come drag it right across until basically you come to the end of the room as so as I say you know it's the same design process of doing the inside windows and the outside so you turn up just like that okay and at the top here Get your grey concrete and fill it right across. Fill in the gaps. Okay, until you hit uh, frame number six, just look where the quartz is. Okay, and get your stairs. Leave that one blank, but go over the rest like this. Oops, excuse me. There we go. So let my cough count up. I'm getting a bit laggy here. Okay, I'll let that catch up. Right, okay. So, ca carrying on. So, I'm going to mark now where the windows are. Okay? So, in between frames 7 and 6, normal. No window. Between 7 and 8, get yeah, auto removal block. So, yes, there is a window there. Between 9 and 8 of the stern, yes, there is a window there. So, yep, yeah, there we go. We're caught up now. I'll just tidy that up. Uh, sorry, I'll start again, folks. So, like I say, between frames 7 and 8 of the stern, there's a window. Between 9 and 8, there's a window. Now, the next one... Okay, let me just get my notes here. Okay, between 9 and 10 and 11, there's no window, so it's 2. But between 12 and 11, there is. So I'm in the block. 13 and 12, there is. And between 14 and 13, there is. So we've got three windows there. Uh, frames 15 and 14, no window. 16 and 15, no window. But the last two, 17 and 16, there is. And 18 and 17, there is. But on this one, between 18 and 19, there's no window. Okay? So, like I say, oh, I'll just drag this chisel block across. Okay, so I've marked the windows there for you. Let's pull this right across while I'm doing this. Ooh, excuse me. There you go, join it up nicely. Okay, and don't mind this little design here, it just overlaps. Okay, so like I say, that's how it should look. Those where the windows are. Same design process for these. Uh, but like I say, I'm going to show you now on the other side. Okay? So this is the bow section. So, once again, between uh, eight frames 8 
and 7, which are these two here, no window. The next two, 8 and 9, 9 and 10, yes, two windows there. And then, between 10 and 11, 11 and 12, no window. And then between 12 and 13, yes. Between 13 and 14, yes. And 14 and 15, yes. So there's three windows there. And then it's another two. So between 15 and 16 of the bow, no window. 16 and 17 of the bow frames, no window. But between 17 and 18, yes. And between 18 and 19, yes. Okay, and that leaves just one left, and that's no window there, and it comes to the end of the door, at what well, end of the room, which is great. So like I say, yep, so once again, I'll put chisel block at the top here. So we repeat the process we've just done in the middle, and I will do, in a quick jump cut now, I'll finish designing it all, but like I say, same process, guys, uh, how you do the windows. Ooh, went over a bit there. There we go. So that's where the windows will be. So I marked them there and marked them here. So that's the full length of the room and it's the same design process for the other side. So I'll do a jump cut now. Like I said, there's no point in showing it again. I've shown you how to do the window and the portholes on the outside. And like I say, I'll catch you all in just a moment while I fill both of these sides of the room. Okay, be right back. And there we go folks, I've completed the starboard side and the port side of the interior and I'll just quickly show you the outside, I'll show what it should look like. There we go. Like I say, I'll change it to night time sometime before the end of the video to show you what it's like. Right, so moving on. We've got some interiors to do now. So all you need to do is head back to this corner here towards the CERN section on the port side. Okay, these areas here, this is what we're going to do, there's one there two, three, and four, and they're all the same design, but we'll do the interior of the walls first, okay, uh, for once you just leave it as grey concrete at the bottom, okay, and next you get your white concrete from this block here, just go straight across, and straight across again, and next it's chiselled, put that right across, so it joins up nicely there, okay, now what you need to do now is from these blocks here, we just need to, well, from the top, I should say, white concrete, a whole row, and another whole row, and another whole row, and another whole row, until you get up to just before the chisel block here. There we go, so it should look like that. So we'll get your chisel block and fill it inwards and then you get your grey concrete remove the one of this there I'm going to move that one really so put grey concrete across so remove this if you've got any put it in the block there and then you get your smooth quartz stairs going right across fill it in there you go it should look like that and it's the same for the other side there we go Right, so what we do next is, let me just get my bearings, folks. Yeah, okay, starting from this corner again. Well, count this block here because it's lined up with that pillar block over there. You need to go five, a gap of five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And put a block of quartz there. One, two, three, four, five, and another. Okay, and that should leave you with a gap of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me double check that, folks. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is seven. Is it seven? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. So it should be on this line here. Ah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Let's double check what's the width of this one again. So this one goes right across here. So that's three, four, five. Sorry for the delay, folks. Technical issues. Okay. So, yes, yeah, sorry, I actually did it wrong. It's a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. Then another five. And then a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't count that block. So it's a six, five, five. So get your pillars now. Going upwards. And before you hit the step, hit the uh, corner of the step, just replace that one with a block of quartz. There we go. Same again. 
go. So it looks like that. So I'll just quickly do the other side. So I'll do it again. So that's one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three, four, five, block there. One, two, three, four, five, block there. And that is a six, I'm not counting that one there. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's fine. It's fine, there we go. So drag the pillow quartz up. Lock of quartz at the top, okay. And like I say, yes, you will be filling this later in the video, folks. Like I say, this is a roof section, but I also need to do the lights for you as well. Okay, so we're going to fill this section in now. So if you just bear with me. Okay. Right, so starting from each corner, which is here. Well, actually, we'll start in the center here. So put block there, two blocks, and going across. It's at least five. So it's one, two, three, four, five, block. One, two, three, four, five, and block. Okay? And what you can do as well is get your quartz stairs and put, I can make a curve like that. And it's the same for these two pillars as well. One there and one there. We'll do the same, put one here. And I forgot as well, folks, on the inside of the wall, put some pillar, put some stairs as well, smooth quartz stairs. Pull that down. Oh, there we go. Catch up. Getting a bit laggy. That's uh, one there and one there. Okay, so continuing on. So, like I say, it's two pillar quartz blocks. One there. Oh, sorry, folks. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. One there. One, two, three, four, five. Might be end. So, it's two there, two there. Get your stair block. There you go. There you go. So it should look like that. And then you get your white concrete. There you go. Just fill it in. There we go. There you go, so it should look like that now. And the next thing you need to do is just get your blocks of quartz, put one block here, top of the pillars. Same for the other side. There you go. And then get your chiseled again. So it joins up the pattern here. Okay, and then return to your pillar. So that is going to be at least five upwards. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And get a quartz block because you're coming to contact with this uh, beam here. Just replace the block that connects it to it like that. Okay, right, so continuing on. So I'll just quickly do this side. There we go. Block of quartz. There you go. And obviously, don't forget to put a line down the center, which I forgot to do. There you go. So the next bit now is you stay with your pillar quartz in between the middle of each five. So I just remember I've got to, forgot to do that. Get a chisel block and put one block in the middle of each five. There you go. So that's one, two. She should, should have four windows in total here. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And the next thing you know, you get a block of quartz, put them in each corner. Just like that. And next thing you know, you get your smooth quartz stairs. And this is how you do it, put inwards like this, because it looks like a curve. There you go. So I'll just zoom out there, that's the pattern. So it's one step there, ladder, that's one stair there, one stair there, one stair there, upside down. So I'll do it again for this side. So it looks like that. There you go. There you go. So it should look like that now. So to finish off, you just get your white stained glass panel, do a row at the bottom, then another row, then a third row, and you finish with three at the top here. There you go. So it looks like that. So I'll just continue here. 
I mean, if you want to look at pictures of the uh, first class dining room, I don't even watch the film, you'll see like they got this like the little alcoves. There was like three on each side of the room. But the beautiful thing about building it is that they were all the same. So it's very uh, exactly the same opposites. Symmetrical. Great building. Easy. Right then, so as you know, right, there we go. And that's that done. So that's that section here. So like I say, we've completed the bay here. We completed half of the middle one here. So you need to repeat this process. One, two, three more times. Okay, so I'll do another chunk up, folks. I will complete the process now for you. And there you go, folks. And that's next stage now completed. Now, I just realized I'm coming up to the hour stage again. So what I'm going to do, there's still a lot to build. I'm going to make this build into a two-parter. So we're coming to the end of the video now. Uh, if anybody would like to use this project as a downloadable project, go right ahead. Not a problem. Uh, just leave us a credit in the video below. Uh, but like I say, uh, if you've got any questions about the build, feel free to send me, send me a message and leave a, make a note in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like or if not, a dislike. But most likely the like. <laughs> Okay, so I'll, like I said, as I promised, I'll just do another, another quick fly around of the work we've done so far. It is quite a bit, I mean, there's still a lot to do. We've got the lights to do, uh, there's some pillars, the carpet, and we've got the um, the bow wall, you know, the wall going towards the bow is complete. But I'll do a little zoom out now. I have changed it to night time, as I promised. So, like I said, I'll just do a quick zoom out here. So this is what it should look like on the, on the inside. And this is what it looks, looks like on the outside. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just quick, do a quick fly out of the Olympic. See, I have all the work done so far and all these parts. But like I say, once again, thank you to all my subscribers for all your support. And any new ones wishing to join me, please go right ahead. And let's enjoy this journey together. But like I say, it does look quite nice when it's up in the dark. Really nice indeed. Right, so I'm going to leave it there, folks. And like I say, I'll get this video out now. And, well, like I say, I'll do a two-part and we'll finish the dining room in the next one. So you all take care of yourself and good night.